Thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us. We've got a match made in heaven coming your way on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter, Allie LaForce. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for John Collins. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And the Lakers starting five. It's LeBron and power forward with AD as the center. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Kobe Bryant. And it's Vanderbilt in at small forward. And for the Jazz, the forwards, it's Marketed and Collins. Sexton runs point with Clarkson at the two. And it's Kessler in at the five down low. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. So the Lakers win the tip. James passes to Davis. Russell from outside. Fires in the triple. With as much defensive attention as AD gets, those passing lanes will be open for him, and those are the passes he needs to make. Clarkson for three. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. And it's a Lakers ball. It's a three-point game. Out to James. Launches it. Kessler with a rebound. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for Utah. Pass to Collins. Clarkson with the ball. Marking it outside. Here's the three. That one no good. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. And there's Bryant. That's good. On the assist by Davis. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Sexton banked it in off the glass. And we think of Clarkson often as a scorer, but there, making the unselfish pass, just great work. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three from the floor. Russell, the pass to Davis. James, right side. Back to Davis. Let's it go from deep. The shot by James, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Sexton. And he banks in the layup. Sexton's got his second bucket on the night. I love that hoop from Colin Sexton. Don't settle, young man. Pass to Bryant. Pulls up on the wing. Count it. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. Now here's Russell. A steady force on their offense, recording around 14 and a half a game. That one rolls around and rims out. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Clarkson finds Sexton. And Davis with the block. And this is how AD will head the league in block shots. It's not just his wingspan, but it's his awareness, his basketball IQ when it comes to reading the game. You know what he wants? He wants to attack, attack, and then guess what? He wants to attack some more. This man was born to go to the rim. Sexton with it. Picked up by James. Tries the nine-footer. Misses off the right iron. The Lakers have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Vanderbilt. 
to James. And here's Bryant outside. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Utah's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They can really use a basket. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Now here's Russell. Outside Vanderbilt. High post Davis. basket he was fouled and he's going to the line for one more in an otherwise sterling career Anthony Davis has often been haunted by the injury bug RJ yeah but he's taking it in stride he always manages to figure out a way to come back strong and when he is on the floor he is delivering the goods Davis, no good on that free throw. All right, Richard, what's your take on the back-to-backs in the NBA? Are you for it or against it? Look, I think you should limit some of them, but back-to-backs are a part of what this game is. It's the battle of your mind over your body. It's been going on since the start of the league. Why are we going to try and make it easier now? Now here's Sexton. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Vanderbilt against Markinen. Back to Sexton. Just five on the clock. Kessler a screen. The three is up. And it's Sexton with the three. Sexton's got his third basket of the night. I mean, Sexton can shoot from anywhere. Strong from beyond the arc. To the paint. Up top, Davis. He's covered by Kessler. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, Richard, if anyone had exceeded the hype of the first overall pick, it might be AD. All right, listen. At the end of the day, I think Anthony Davis has met expectations of his own and probably the league. off. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. And the second free throw is good. And with Davis, you know what you're getting. A nightly double-double threat and a versatile defender. Pass to Collins. Marking it outside. Collins with a screen on Russell. Here's Markkinen going inside. Count it. Two for four from the field now. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there the way he just went right over him with his height. Now James. There's a screen. Here's Vanderbilt. Russell with the ball. Checked by Sexton. Here's Davis. Shoots over Nance. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Russell. Davis has got seven points in the game. The Jazz have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Marking it. The pass to Collins. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. And when Markinen is used correctly, he can be an important contributor. A big man who can really shoot, which is valuable in today's game. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've break, come out of the break. gate looking Who's for that up? extra pass. You know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint. Just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever shot they want in close. The first one falls. Yeah. 
Markkinen hits them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Outside Vanderbilt, from behind the arc. Collins with the rebound. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Sexton against Russell. Outside Sexton. Nance with a screen on Russell. Here's Sexton. Vanderbilt pulls it in. The Lakers have got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. Pass to Russell. Now here's Davis. Collins defending. On the line. And the Lakers tack on two more. Perfect from the field this quarter. Gotta wonder how long he can sustain it. And Utah calls time here. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. Oh man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> It was that level of dominance. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. He's checked in for Markkinen. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. Sexton against Russell. Nance outside. To the middle. It's tipped. Stolen by Bryant. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Russell. And it's a 10-point Laker lead. That makes him 5 for 5 so far. Could be a big night in store. Clarkson passes to Horton Tucker. And here's Collins. He had 19 points in the win against Golden State. And he was a monster on the glass. Really helped them control that part of the game. The Jazz again can't hit. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Davis. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. It's a three-pointer. And the Lakers lead by 13. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Nance. Now here's Sexton. Can they get it? Good. Sexton's got nine. And a great awareness by Sexton to find the soft spot. Nice pull up there, pure from mid-range. Vanderbilt, a screen on Sexton. Sexton against Russell. Here's Bryant. Shot clock at six. Misses, and you know he wants that one back. And so Sexton will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. They trail by 11. Collins with a screen on Vanderbilt. Here's Horton Tucker. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now. Pass to Russell. Here's Reeves. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. The shot, no good. The Jazz have got six of 14 in so far. Outside Horton Tucker. And here's Collins, guarded by Russell. And it's blocked by Davis. And he lobs it up and finished off by Davis. 
and it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Now here's Clarkson. An 11-point game for him in the win against Golden State. And how about the vision he displayed? Great job getting others involved and piling up the assist. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Reeves, the pass to Vanderbilt. Down low. Here's Bryant. Rebound, Utah. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Now Sexton. He's got nine. Outside Horton Tucker. This one for three. Counted from distance. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot now. Russell to pass to Davis. The three. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. That guy is perfect from the field, making major contributions to this lead. And Utah calls time here. And one thing we're seeing from D'Angelo Russell now, increased efficiency, Richard. Yeah, from the start of his career, he has definitely improved. He's got a ways to go, but he's talented, and there's still a lot of time. the 2K leaderboard, here are the teams that have been consistently dominant on the offensive end of the floor over the last month. Number one, Los Angeles. This is not a team you want to face right now. They are locked in on the offensive end. Tucker coming in off a 14-point game last time out. Nails it from beyond the arc. Markinen's got nine. Shots like this help Markinen get in rhythm. The D must be aware of his ability to catch and fire. Intercepted. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Abaji. That three's off the mark. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. To the inside, Wood. And Wood with the stuff. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. They were ready to roll right through the tip. There was no warm-up period. There was only, let's do this. Market it against Hachimura. Now here's Markkinen. Tight defense on him. The three ball sends it home from three-point land. He's got 12. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for Los Angeles. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. We'll be right back after this word.
And as our coverage continues, happy Valentine's Day again to everyone out there. Guys, what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. Utah has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Gabe Vincent out there with Austin Reeves. Then there's Christian Wood. Then it's Rui Achimura. And it's James in at the four. Marketing finds Nance. Now you're at seven. Shot clock at five. Pass to Marketing. Three pointer. Rebounded by LeBron. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Vincent. 14 points his last outing. The three from Wood. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Marketing, the pass to your seven. It's Marketing on the wing. Plenty of space. And he knocks the jumper down. Marketing's got 14. A gifted score. You know, this team trusts Marketing's shot selection and offensive initiative. James, outside. Rebounded by the Jazz. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Outside Horton Tucker. Back to Markinen. Pass to Nance. Outside Horton Tucker. Jacks up a three. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, Lori Markkinen has become the go-to scorer for the Jazz. Coach Will Hardy said, quote, it's not easy going from being a role player to being the guy. There's an emotional part of being counted on like this, and he's handled very well. To have the evolution that he has had is something that he should be very, very proud of. Brian? Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Allie. Good stuff there. Now here's Horton Tucker. Defense is right there. Here's Abaji. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now, here is James. We saw him with 39 points last game. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. He struggles shooting the rock, yet they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Markinen. Over to the wing, from the arc. Crops in the three. Akbaji's got six here in the corner. Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Here's Reeves. Achimura from long range. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. Now here's Horton Tucker, tightly guarded, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And Grant is someone whose career spanned eras. You feel playing defense is more difficult than it was two decades ago? Oh, B.A., it's much more difficult. In part, because the contact allowed is much more strict. Shooters can create contact and be rewarded with free throws. And the skill level on offense has truly raised. It makes it tough for the defender to really get down and play that tough nose defense. First free throw is good. Collins, he's checked in for Utah. Sexton comes in for Abaji. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Wood outside. Gets the three ball to go. Wood's got five now. He's money from back there. Wood taking what's given. Pass to Marketing. Collins with a screen on Achimura. Marketing, the pass to Nance. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Nance has got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. 
And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. They defeated Detroit in their last game. And you'd have to think that love played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. It just seems like the defense wasn't interested. They got away with one. Now here's Sexton. He's got nine. From the paint. Got a hand on it. Collins outside. That's the screen. Here's the floater. Market and misses. Los Angeles has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Reeves. Pure from three-point range. He's got six. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Outside Sexton. Hachimura against Markinen. Collins outside. Clock at six. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Gordon Tucker can't hit. The Lakers have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. You know, what's amazing about LeBron is his total effect on the game. On and off the court, Richard. Yeah, he makes his teammates better. He makes the league better. And he has been a champion for social justice. The Jazz making a switch here. Kessler's checked in. Vanderbilt's checked in for Los Angeles. D'Angelo Russell comes in for Vincent. knows how good LeBron James is but the thing that makes it remarkable is the longevity of his talent and he is still leading the way for his team now here's Horton Tucker give him eight lets it go Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts Los Angeles has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter James against Collins James passes to Wood, and Wood with the stuff. And you see rolling out of the screen. Wood is a fluid athlete for a guy of his size. A lot of ability in that space. Now here's Horton Tucker. Defense right on him. Uses the glass on the layup. Horton Tucker's got 10 points. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Wood outside. Pass to Russell. Over Sexton. Kessler with a rebound. Utah trailing here. Here's Horton Tucker. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. He has been a key factor for them offensively. Scoring with consistency. James inside. Collins there. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Oh, man. LeBron just big boy basketball on full display. Clarkson's checked in for Utah. Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Bryant comes in for Reeves. Free throw good from James. Here's Horton Tucker. 12 points for him. Now a timeout, timeout called by Utah. You gotta like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. He's been on a mission, attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what adjustments they can make.
last month of action. Here is a list of the players who have shot the ball most efficiently so far from deep. And you look at Vincent, he is downright lethal from distance, ranking first in the league in three-point percentage. And of course, Jared Vanderbilt, he's right there with those guys. Another guy who is lights out beyond the arc. Their consistency from range is unbelievable. It's what every team in the league is looking for these days. Horton Tucker with it. He's got 12. High post Kessler. Pass to Collins. Outside for Sexton. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got his fifth rebound in this one. Throws it up high. And Davis slams it home. Uh-oh, everything is going AD's way. He is in that zone and scoring at a terrific pace. Clarkson passes to Horton Tucker. Outside for Sexton. Six to shoot. Over Russell. Cash money from 16 feet away. Sexton's got 13. And the pick and roll was a good decision by Sexton. He's got solid playmaking instincts. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to James. Here's Bryant. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. Utah has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Sexton a screen on Bryant. It's Horton Tucker with a drive. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. Shooting two. down the first one and here in the second quarter he's starting to work himself to the free throw line that's a good move Reeves is checked in for the Lakers and so he hits both and they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter and is getting them to the free throw line. Here's the screen by Bryant. Russell with the ball. And Clarkson picks him up defensively. Russell against Clarkson. Bryant outside. Over Sexton. Rebounded by the Jazz. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. And a lot of that begins with effort. Putting in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game. And the Lakers with possession here. After the basket by Utah. Pass to Davis. 20 feet out. Gordon Tucker grabs the miss. The Jazz shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Sexton passes to Collins. And here's Horton Tucker. Back to Sexton. Kessler a screen. Tries it from the top of the key. Sexton misses. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Bryant. Hey, now five for eight, shooting a pretty good percentage right now. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Utah has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Bryant against Clarkson. Collins goes in over Vanderbilt. And there's Collins on the assist by Clarkson. Clarkson's got three assists tonight. Yeah, hard to blame the defense. Collins just knows how to score under duress. Now here's Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. Shoots over Collins. Vanderbilt, no good. And I don't understand. Why is he going to the fadeaway? Just go straight up with it. Here's Kessler. 
Now here's Sexton. He's got 15. Inside. And one of the bright young stars in this league. Collins is aggressive, and he makes plays. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And so far, Collins has been a pleasant surprise. A mobile, quick-thinking big man with enticing potential. Marketins checked in for Horton Tucker. Woods checked in for the Lakers. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Los Angeles has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Wood with the screen. Russell finds Bryant. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bryant's got 13. There's a minute 47 left in the second period. Sexton against Russell. Now here's Collins. Not a lot of room. Marking it outside. Just five to shoot. The Jazz again can't hit. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Pass to Wood. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Marketing the pass to Clarkson. Back to Markkinen. Collins with a screen on Bryant. Markkinen from long range. The shot, no good. Whatever rhythm he had last quarter, it has left his body. He is having a hard time finding buckets. Outside Davis. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's Bryant. Nice touch on the bank shot. And now a three-point Los Angeles lead. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now here's Collins. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And there's the foul against the Lakers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Sexton against Russell. Wood, a screen on Sexton. Russell, the pass to Wood. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got six assists here tonight. Well, Wood just looks about automatic. I mean, he had totally prepared himself to shoot on that one. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Lakers ahead, leading by four. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway.
Happy to have you with us. Let's start things off with our Players of the Week. And in the West, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis has been putting all the work in, demonstrating his versatility, doing everything for his team, and he hits big shots in key moments. That's why he's going home with the hardware. Let's shift focus back to the Utah Jazz, who find little separation after one half a play. Their bench went to work, brought the intensity, created offense. I just thought the team had a lot more energy when the reserves were in there. Nip and tuck battle. Good to have depth there when you need it. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. And you can bet that that's had an effect the rest of the way. Guys won't be trying to take him one-on-one -on -one because he alters just as many shots as he blocks. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Clarkson the two, and Markkinen is the three. Collins and Kessler playing up front, and it's Sexton in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Now here's Markkinen. Outside Sexton. Wing shot on the way. LeBron with the rebound. James has got six rebounds now in the game. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Grant. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do, to be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence too, B.A. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. A new look Jazz roster seemed primed for a rebuild, but they're winning games. Coach Will Hardy said, I think it's amazing that this group has figured out a way to put personal agendas aside and go out and compete every night. Well, he's been a big part of it, Allie. Thank you. It's Markkinen scoring inside. Being Markkinen is seven feet tall, he's absolutely an inside threat. I just love watching him capitalize from this area. Pass to Russell. Bryant outside. And here's Davis. Russell with the ball. Who poked away. Now Sexton, guarded by Russell. Sexton, that's good. There is no chance that this game is tied up without his offensive firepower. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 59% in this one. A good average. Now here's Vanderbilt. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Got a piece of it. Here's Sexton. There's the drive. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Russell. Driving inside with a purpose. Sexton taking it right to the defense and drawing a good foul. as the free throw drops in for him. And there's no question that Sexton can flat out fill it up scoring-wise. Now he must focus on evolving as a facilitator. All right, both free throws good from Sexton. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Outside Russell. Outside Vanderbilt. Clarkson on the double team. Vanderbilt finds Bryant. Knocks it down from distance. Bryant's got 18 points in the game. Incredible game. This lead has been exchanged eight times. A tremendous show of will and resilience on both sides. 
Pass to Markkinen. Outside for Sexton. 4-3. Gets the three to fall. Sexton's got seven points here in the quarter. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Outside Vanderbilt. Now here's Russell. Pass to Davis. From outside, off the mark. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Now Collins. Marking it outside. Collins with a screen on Vanderbilt. Here's Markkinen. A show of force by Markkinen to get through. And an excellent start to the second half. Only missed one shot in their first five. Outside Davis. Back to Russell. Clarkson on the double team. Russell deciding where to go with it. Six on the shot clock. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Laurie Markkinen. That's foul number two for him. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Davis. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. Davis has got 20. And Davis has added strength over his career. Really helps him inside. Now a timeout called by Utah. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Showing us the teams with the best free throw percentage. Fourth, the Lakers. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. against Russell and he's going for the oop here stolen by Davis he can't get it to go good D by Kessler this has been a close game in a lot of ways but they do have an edge on the board Sexton passes to Markkinen Here's Collins. Pass to Markkinen. And count it. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. And nice awareness there from the big man Collins. Solid at finding his teammates when they're open. Bryant outside. Kessler on the double team. And finished off by Davis. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. 
Now here's Clarkson. His offense has been fantastic, averaging just over 17 a game. Kessler passes to Clarkson. Six to shoot. Sexton, the open look. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Vanderbilt inside. It's guarded by Markinen. Stolen by Collins. And here's Sexton. He's got 22. Pass to Kessler. Kicks it out to Markinen. Let's a three fly. Oh, the soft touch from Markinen, the seventh footer. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Outside Davis. Utah with the rebound. Markinen's got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Clarkson. Pass to Kessler. Marketing with it. Stolen by Davis. For the finish. And then Davis punches it home. Ooh, this is Davis at the scariest. Impact defense and instant offense. That is a nice combination. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Utah leading. Now Clarkson. to market in. There's a double team with Vanderbilt. Pocket six. Launches a three. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Jazz. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. Taking a look at the Lakers. Final stretch of the season. They've got the number one seed and have shown no signs of giving it up. And, of course, the Jazz just need to keep fighting. I think for Los Angeles, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season. But now, they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. And this is a part of Collins' game that's really evolved. Hitting jumpers and catch and shoot. Here's Reeves, defended by Horton Tucker. Reeves, the pass to Davis. Count the basket. They have no answer defensively inside. Second team foul. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes, spacing the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense, very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. That free throw, good from Davis. Utah has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Now here's Horton Tucker. He's covered closely. Shot clock at six. Clarkson's got room. Rebound, the Lakers. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Some players just have it at eight back for scoring the ball, Grant. Jordan Clarkson, definitely one of them. They're absolutely B.A. That jump shot has to be honored. And because of that, he's able to get inside and create for himself and others. Stolen by Vanderbilt. Pass to Davis. But the lead. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. He's just so savvy at drawing fouls. Davis gets to the line almost as much as anyone. Taking two shots.
shooting two. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Nance is checked in. Christian Wood is checked in for the Lakers. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. No good on the second free throw. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it was enough to give them a lead. Clarkson against Davis. The three is up. And Clarkson with the three. Clarkson's got his second bucket of the night. The three-point shot of Clarkson runs hot and cold. But boy, when it's on, oh, Jordan's so difficult to stop. Now here's Davis. 28 points for him. Russell to pass to Davis. Davis drawing the double team. The three from Russell. Utah with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside, Horton Tucker driving to the basket. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Christian Wood picks one up. Second team foul. No good on the free throw. So he comes up empty, missing both. The Lakers trail. Outside Russell. Pass to Wood. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Wood's got 12 points in the game. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Horton Tucker. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. After line for Utah. Taylor, Horton, Tucker. Two shots. And he drops the first. A different look for Utah. Bontecchio's checked in for John Collins. And Abaji subbed in for Sexton. The Lakers also with a sub. Vincent's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Los Angeles has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Davis. Knocks down the long J. Davis has got 13 points now in the quarter. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Now here's Clarkson. Here's Horton Tucker. 16 points for him. Here's Fontecchio. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Vincent. A minute 53 left in the third quarter. A three from Wood. Clarkson grabs a miss. Clarkson's got four rebounds now. Now Horton Tucker. Back to Clarkson. And here's Horton Tucker. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes the three. Hachimura with a rebound. 
For Los Angeles, they've gone eight of 15 in the third quarter. Pass to Reeves. Davis with it from seven feet. No good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Here's Fontecchio. Check by Davis. Fires for three. Benson grabs a miss. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Pass to Reeves. Here's Wood. To the paint. Here's Benson. Doesn't go that time. Utah's gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Outside Horton Tucker. To win the cold spell. Rebounded by the Lakers. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Hachimura, the pass to Reeves. Pass to Davis. The shot from the low post is good. Davis has got 33 points. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. It's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. The Lakers in the lead. On the court for the Lakers. They've got Rui Achimura, Christian Wood out there with LeBron James. Then it's Gabe Benson and it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Wood. Back to Reeves. Six to shoot. Let's it fly. Rebounded by Dunn. And for Utah, they're shooting around 53%. A nice number. Pass to market it. Let's it go from 11. And that one's long. And for Los Angeles, their shooting has been excellent so far. Around 56%. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. And they've really managed to dominate inside. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. That free throw, good from James. Utah trailing here. Dunn with it. Nance outside. Back to Dunn. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Pass to Vincent. Now Achimura. Wood outside. Wood, a screen on Marketing. Just four to shoot. Here's James. The rebound by Marketing. Marketing's got seven rebounds in the game. Outside Horton Tucker. 
to the wing. Here's Abaji. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. The Lakers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's James. Changes up. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Laurie Markkinen. Yeah, just too much big boy basketball by LeBron James. Just bodying defenders inside. LeBron James. That's the one Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. Done. The pass to Nance. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Abaji. Here's Markkinen. Checked by James. Done outside. It just before the shot clock expires. Dunn's got five points now in the quarter. For Los Angeles, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. James with the ball. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. And it's James with the jam. Oh, my God. LeBron James with that, that, that power. Do you just feel the rim shake? Pass to Horton Tucker. They set the screen. And there's the whistle. That goes on Taylor Horton Tucker. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. And the Lakers also making a switch. D'Angelo Russell, he's checked in for Vincent. The Lakers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Russell, the pass to James. The fadeaway. And count it. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Left side, Horton Tucker. James with the block. A versatile, talented defender. LeBron excels at using his athleticism and length to block so many shots. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Here's Horton Tucker. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. It's Markkinen on the wing. Hachimura covering. Markkinen, pass to Abaji. Now here's Horton Tucker. Connect from downtown. Horton Tucker's got 19 points. See, he had time to line it up. And you know what? He's capable. Outside Russell. James inside. Working on Nance. Hachimura from long range. Buries it from three. Hachimura's got five points now in the quarter. Hey, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Nance. High post Kessler. Back to Nance. Mark it in for three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Now oh. with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. James deciding where to go with it. The rebound by the Jazz. Markkinen's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Horton Tucker. And a miss there on the triple. And credit the defense. Excellent contest. Made that a tough shot. Pass to Wood. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Horton Tucker. James against Markkinen. 
James brings the double team and a bit of a battle for the ball and the officials signal a jump ball here and you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this oh my oh my and that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back To Horton Tucker. Five to shoot. Here's Abaji. Over James. Yes! He nails it! This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get a stop on the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. in for Nance. Clarkson comes in for Abaji. And Sexton subbed in for Horton Tucker. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Vanderbilt comes in for Achimura. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham was giving to his team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? All right, appreciate it, Allie. against Sexton. Pass to James. Now here's Davis. Five on the clock. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Clarkson. Puts up a deep three. The rebound by the Jazz. Kessler's got seven rebounds in the game. Now here's Clarkson. Here's Markkinen. The seven-footer, Markkinen, using that length. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he can really use some help. And James has got the ball here for Los Angeles. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Pass to Russell. Takes a three. Rebound, Utah. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. for a screen. Clarkson against Davis. Parker to three. Nails it from three. And now just a two-point Laker lead. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. The Lakers have gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. To the inside, Davis. And finished off by Davis. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Sexton against Russell. Pass to Clarkson. Markkinen outside. Collins passes to Markkinen. Off the mark there with a three. 
Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Russell with the ball. Checked by Sexton. Here's Vanderbilt. And there's two. Work on the glass. Paying off that time. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Clarkson outside. Marketing finds Collins. Outside Sexton. Pass to Marketing. To the middle. Kessler. Counted. Yeah, moving the ball with a purpose. Lowry Markkinen. <laughs> nice pass. The Lakers in the lead. And here's Russell. Outside Vanderbilt. Down low. Here's James. Back to Vanderbilt. Here's Davis. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Market in the pass to Collins. Here's Clarkson. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his fourth assist in this one. Marketing against Vanderbilt. Now here's Marketing. Guarded closely. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. And the defense really crowds Markinen inside. So he smartly makes sure he draws the foul. First free throw is good. And the Lakers making a change here. Bryant's checked in. Markkinen hits them both. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Russell, the pass to Davis from downtown. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Just some quick thinking from AD. Doesn't want to give the D any time to react. Just catch it and shoot it. Marketing against Vanderbilt. Collins with a screen on Vanderbilt. Here's Markkinen. And another miss by Utah. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such a close range. And the bucket is good. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And Utah calls time here. They're losing by 10. A minute 58 left in the final quarter. A minute 58 left to play in the fourth quarter. Marketing against Vanderbilt. Marketing, the pass to Kessler. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for two. Kessler. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker.
That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that brings him within single digits. I couldn't hit them all, and they need every point they can get. Here's Bryant inside. He's covered by Clarkson. And Bryant gets it to go. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Sexton. And he lobs it up top. And Collins with the slam. Throw it anywhere near Collins. He'll take care of the rest. Putting his athleticism in link to perfect use. James against Collins. And Davis with the basket on the assist from James. James has got six assists now in the game. On the wing, Sexton, guarded by Russell. And Markkinen with the stop. And the court awareness getting better with time. Sexton making an effort to pass it to teammates who were wide open. Bryant outside. Kessler on the double team. Davis. And the tip in on the offensive boards. Davis has got 42 in the game. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Lakers. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. And so they powered through to their 51st win of the year. And they didn't deviate from their game plan against this team. It's what helped them win their first two games against them, add another one to the win tally for them. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Anthony Davis. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. Bryant finds James. Outside Russell. So it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. LeBron, you got that perimeter shot falling as the game wore on. How'd you dial it in? Uh, I mean, I work on my shot every day. I work on my game every day, so it doesn't matter if I miss uh, all of them in the first, second, third. I still believe that I'm going to make the next one. All that hard work really paid off late. Congratulations. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis.